For today's lesson, we're going to start with chapter two, lesson one, and we're going to be finding the percent of a number. So we're going to be dealing with percents um, in this chapter. Um, the objective, students will be able to find the percent of a number. And the essential questions we're focusing on for chapter two are how can percent help you understand situations involving money? And then for this lesson specifically, how do you find the percent of a number? So this is very important right here. In this lesson, you will learn two methods to find percent of a number. So the two methods that we're gonna be using are learning how to find the percent of a number as a fraction. But then we're also gonna learn how to find the percent of a number as a decimal. So in this um, lesson, even though I'm teaching you two methods, um, you're gonna tend to prefer one method over the other. So once you have learned both methods, um, you basically are free to use whichever method you prefer. So when we're dealing with percents um, as a fraction, um, you're going to be converting. Um, you need to know that percents are numbers based out of 100. It's always based out of 100. What that means is that what you're going to do is you're going to put your percent and you're going to always put it over 100. So if they give you 50 percent, you're going to put 50 on top over 100. If they give you 75 percent, you're going to put the 75 over 100. If they give you 31.2 percent, you're going to put 31.2 over 100. And then all you have to do is multiply it by whatever the other number is. So it's a pretty easy process. And then we'll be doing some examples of percent as a fraction for the for, um, next part of the video. Then. At the, um, the other video, we're gonna be learning how to do percent as a decimal. So what you need to know is that when you're using percent as a decimal, you're gonna be moving your decimal twice to the left. So what that means is that whatever percent you're gonna have, let's say you have 50%, you're gonna add a decimal to the end, and then all you have to do is move the decimal twice to the left. This decimal no longer will be there, and then you're gonna have the decimal there, and then once again, all you have to do is multiply it by whatever number they give you. So um, if that doesn't make sense, don't worry. We're gonna be practicing how to do both methods. And then once you have learned both methods, you're free to do use whichever method you prefer.